Another member of the North Carolina congressional delegation has decided not to run for re-election. First-term Democrat Wiley Nickel made the announcement this afternoon. He says the way Republican lawmakers redrew his district makes it virtually unwinnable for a Democrat. WRO Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from Raleigh to show us those changes and the trend that we're seeing. Laura? Nickel, sorry, Gerald, Nickel is the third of the three uh, Democratic Congress members from North Carolina who've said that they won't be seeking re-election in 2024. All three of those districts were heavily redrawn to favor Republicans in the last redraw this past fall. And, you know, that could have an impact on the balance of power in Congress as well. To a standing ovation from a room full of supporters, Congressman Wiley Nickel took the stage today to announce he won't seek re-election in the 13th District. We are here to celebrate what we were able to accomplish in a fair fight for the U.S. House of Representatives. When Nickel won his congressional seat, the 13th District was Southern Wake County, all of Johnston, and parts of Harnett and Wayne. It was a toss-up district. 49.5% Democrat, 48.2% Republican, considered one of the most competitive seats in the country. It was enacted by the state Supreme Court in 2022 after Democratic judges ruled that partisan gerrymandering, drawing a district to give one party an advantage, was unconstitutional. Earlier this year, after Republicans won the majority on the state Supreme Court, they reversed that ruling, saying partisan gerrymandering is allowed after all. GOP lawmakers took advantage of that when they redrew the 13th. It's now more white and more rural, stretching around the Democrats in Wake County, from Lee and Harnett all the way up to the Virginia line. And it's now a safe Republican district, 57 percent Republican to 41 percent Democrats. They did it for one reason, to hold on to power no matter what the voters want. They did it for themselves, not for the people of North Carolina. Nichols said he doesn't see any way to win re-election. He said 90 percent of the seats in Congress are like this, drawn in such a way that one party or the other is virtually guaranteed to win, making general elections an afterthought. Listen, folks, gerrymandering is destroying our democracy. And I hope this is a canary in the coal mine moment. Now, I asked Republican leaders here at the legislature about their response to his comments. Senate leader Phil Berger spokeswoman Lauren Horst said in a statement, Con Congressman Nickel is only a congressman because he had a judicially gerrymandered district handed to him on a silver platter instead of defending his so-called moderate record and trying to win over voters in the new 13th district. He is just taking his ball and going home. In the meantime, 10, no fewer than 10 Republican candidates have already signed up to, to, to run for this district in 2024. And more could join them before filing closes tomorrow at noon. Gerald. Laura Leslie live on Jones Street. Thank you, Laura.